number one, in this video, we're going to learn how to solve the normal random variable. Okay, and we have the formula for the normal distribution. The function equals 1 over standard deviation square root of 2 pi e to the power of negative 1 half quantity of x minus standard mean over standard deviation squared. So, in standard deviation, we have the above the mean and below the mean. In above the mean, we use the addition sign, while below the mean, we use the subtraction sign. So, in standard deviation, we're only going to use the three set of scores, okay? The one, two, and three. Now, we have here, first example. So, given the set of scores with the mean 12 and standard deviation 1.5, write the following main scores of 1, 2, 3 standard deviation above the mean and the second is 1, 2, and 3 standard deviation below the mean. So first is the above the mean. So above the mean is we have the so 12 plus 1.5 12 plus 1.5 is equal to 13.5 So 12 plus 2 times 1.5. So 2 times 1.5 is equal to 3. So 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. So next is the 3. So 12 plus 3, 1.5. So 12, 3 times 1.5 is equal to 4.5. 12 plus 4.5 is equal to 16.5 now for the below the mean so minus plus to 12 minus 1.5 12 minus 1.5 is equal to 10.5 next is so 12 minus 2 times 1.5 so, 2 times 1.5 is 3. 12 minus 3 is 9. Next is... So, 12 minus 3 times 1.5. So, 12 minus 3 times 1.5 is 4.5. So, 12, 12 minus 4.5 is equal to 7.5. 7.5 So in here we have 6 answer. So first is the 13.5 Next is the 15 Second, third is the 16.5 For the below the mean is 10.5 The 9 and the 7.5 so, next is, in particular, normally distributes, distributed set of scores, the mean is 43.5. So, write down the given. So, the mean is 43.25. And the standard deviation is 12.47. Determine the approximate location of the score is... 2.34 in terms of the standard deviation. Okay. So here we have the mean 43.5, standard deviation is 12.47, and our score, our x, is 52.34. Now we're going to tell if it is above the mean or below the mean. So as you can see here, our x is 62.34 while our mean is 43.25. Therefore, it is above standard deviation. Now, when can we tell if it's above or below? So, here's the thing. Always focus on the of score. So, if your x is 90 and your mean is 100, so that is below standard deviation so if our, if your mean is x if your score is 
Fever score is let's say five, and then our your mean is nine point. I mean, if your score is fifteen and your mean is nine point zero zero one, so it is above standard deviation. If your X is below the your mean is it is below standard deviation. If your X is higher than your mean, it is above standard deviation. Okay? So since our problem here is above standard deviation, so we're gonna use the addition. If it's below the standard deviation, we're going to use the subtraction. Okay? Just raise it. So first is write down the set of scores. Okay. So so forty three point twenty five plus twelve point forty seven. So our, the answer here is fifty five point seventy two. Next is so forty three point twenty five plus two times twelve point four seven. So forty three point twenty five two times twelve point forty seven is twenty four point ninety four. Then add them, the answer is sixty eight point nineteen. So lastly so forty three point twenty five plus three twelve point forty seven so forty three point twenty five plus the answer is thirty seven point forty one and then the answer is eighty point sixty six now we have the set of scores the fifty five point seventy two sixty eight point nineteen and eighty point sixty six now here we're gonna determine the approximate location of the score 62.34. So you're gonna focus where the 60.34 the closest. Okay? So since 55 and 68 for the mean plus star deviation and mean plus 2 star deviation is close to the score means. Okay, wait. So in here, so here in the middle is the where the score sixty two point thirty four located in the middle. Okay. Now we're you're gonna write the conclusion of this. So in writing the conclusion, it should be write this. So, mean plus standard deviation is less than 62.34 but greater than standard deviation, I mean mean plus 2 standard deviation. So, this is our final answer. Third example, determine the probability density function of normal distribution whose mean is 12 and standard deviation is 3. So now in here, as you can see in the question, it says determine the probability density function. Probability density function. From the word itself, function. So you're going to use the formula of the probability density. So... Again, first write the givens. So the givens mean is 12 and our standard deviation is 3. And then for the formula, again the formula is function equals sorry, wait. So the formula is Function equals 1 over standard deviation 
squares of 2 pi e to the power of negative 1 half quantity of x minus standard deviation I mean mean over standard deviation squared now all you have to do is substitute all the given values okay so 1 over our standard deviation is 3 and then square root of 2 pi and then e and then 1 half our x and then so as you can see here we're going to find the x okay so our mean is 12 over 3 and then squared so copy So, oh, negative 1 half. So, and then squared this, and the answer is x minus 12 squared over 9. So, I prefer to make the like this form because it's easier to identify than broaden the solution. Okay, so next is copy. Then, you can actually multiply this. So, negative 1 times x minus 12 squared. The answer is... And then, 2 times 9 is 18. So, e... Minus, I mean, E1 over 18, X minus 12 squared. So, this is the answer. So, for writing your conclusion, you can, you can just write thus, thus the, thus the probability density function of, of a normal distribution, normal distribution is then this one answer so that's it of how you find the probability density function and then for last example so don't mind the numbering that's four so determine the probability density function of normal distribution whose mean is 25 and our standard deviation is one so again the formula the formula is function equals to 1 over standard deviation square root of 2 pi e power of negative 1 half x minus standard mean over standard deviation squared and then substitute all the given values next so the oh sorry our standard deviation is one and then two pi e negative one half our x and then twenty five over one squared So, negative 1 half, and then x minus 25 squared over 1, so, and then half b, and then negative, negative mm, 1 half, and then x minus 25 squared. So 2 times 1 is 2 and then negative 1 half times negative 1 half is negative 1 half squared. So the 
that's it. And for the conclusion again. Wait. Conclusion. Thus. Thus the probability. Density function. Of the normal distribution. Is function equals to one square root of two pi e power of negative one half x minus twenty five squared. So that's it. That's the answer. Now, if you have questions and clarifications, you can comment down below, and I will glad to answer to do my best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.